Welcome back to Mechanical Pros. I'm here with Patrick with Riello. Riello is the world's largest burner manufacturer. They manufacture high quality uh, forced draft combustion burners. Um, Patrick, tell me what we got going on here with this Riello burner. What we do that's different is as the world's largest burner manufacturer now in our 100th year of, of business is uh, the burners are all very high quality, as you mentioned. They deliver consistent combustion over a wide range of operation in a wide variety of applications. And so while you and I are probably going to deal mostly with, with uh, firing boilers and other heat exchangers uh, in HVAC, uh, we fire all sorts of anything that needs to be fired. Uh, they they place where we have to convert the potential energy of oil or gas in, into heat. Uh, coffee roasters, brew kettles, incinerators, all, all sorts of things. Um, this specific burner is um, the type that we would put on a small fire heat exchanger. It's about a million BTU input. This is a dual gas oil configuration. So one of the pieces that's, that's real interesting, we just maybe start to step through yeah. it. Right. Pull this so as we pull the cover off, we're gonna get right to the right to the, the bulk and the, but if, before we run off with this, and this is something we may come yeah. back to. Fun feature, touch text interface for an operator and to help a technician troubleshoot the product. It's gonna, it's not lit right now, obviously, but what we're gonna have is a touch text interface. So you aren't dealing with codes that you have to go look up. The codes out of the Siemens LMV are translated into plain English and are available here. Yeah. All history, operating mode, that type of thing. So it's easy for the operator to understand what's going on and for them to tell a technician um, what, what's going on. Yeah. The technician can scroll back through. It also gives us a nice interface to jump off to a building automation system, which is nice and what's expected in new equipment in HVAC today, as well as allow us to sequence two of these burners that are on heat exchangers firing the same system. So a couple of hot water or steam boilers, these two controls speak to each other and can maintain a better pressure or temperature awesome. without an additional panel. So you're an owner operator or just an owner, you can walk by, you can see any kind of faults or air, air what you is, don't have air codes that tells you exactly what what happened. It'll tell you that you got low gas pressure, that it, it, it didn't fire as a consequence of a, of a safety shutoff valve not making or something. You won't have to guess, it'll tell you what's going on. Very cool. What makes the, re, the real burner a better burner? There's a couple of things, John. The thing that we do, that we standardized that we've standardized on is a linkageless control system. While we can give you the same simple linkage-driven assembly, where a single point of motion is going to is going to control both fuel and air, or or try to over a range of operation. Instead, we we have adopted and have standardized on uh, on the Siemens LMV system, which has individual servo motors that position fuel and air. So rather than one point of motion trying to do two things, we have two different points of motion that play well together. And they're driven by the same, uh, the same controller. What that does for us is gives us the ability to, to for, more quick, for quicker setup from a technical standpoint, quicker setup. Once this unit is set up, that information can be used to set up an adjacent unit. Once that data is available and is stored, if there's any other problem with the burner over time, those, those, that, that data, those, those settings can be blasted back into the control. Okay. Uh, so you, you, you lose a point of motion here, a servo. Uh, this servo properly can be removed, replaced, and it'll pick up the data as if it was the original piece. Okay. And so from, a, uh, from both a startup um, of an individual unit, multiple units serving the same system, and then coming back and having to work on it, it, it's very favorable. So rather than trimming out your combustion with linkage, you're working with uh, servo motors that are helping you trim that and uh, and get your, your combustion right where you need it to be. Precisely positioning fuel relative to air throughout the firing rate. It also allows you to synchronize fuel and air over multiple fuels. And so, and this unit is set up, is, is provided and fitted for dual fuel. And so those settings will be unique for the, the oil to air, and then we will have unique settings for gas to air. And never do the two have to mix, yeah. and, or, or have to cross over, or have to coincide, if, as if you had a single point of motion and trying to make those three points play well together. Yeah, that's pretty powerful, critical applications. I'm thinking hospitals, uh, 
industrial can't be down, have to have a dual fuel solution. You guys have uh, created a solution that, that, that takes that into account and for, makes it easier. Specifically for resilient applications where it is desired to have an, an alternate fuel, the, um, the real philosophy is and has been to provide a distinctly motor driven oil pump on the unit. So this unit comes for gas oil. You connect the gas to it as if anybody else would. But something that we do that's a, a little unique is that we give you a, and this, of course it's hard to see in this environment, but trust me, there is a distinctly motor driven oil pump here to provide that oil flow to the nozzles and give you that, that oil firing. It is not driven by the blower motor. It is not sat someplace else and having to be pipe wired controlled to synchronize with the burner. Yeah. So that's something that we do and that we have done. So some of the things I hear uh, out in the field is it's not always the boiler that you're, you might be having an issue with. A lot of times it's, it's purely the burner. And so you don't have to get a new boiler, right? You can, we can just focus on the, uh, on the burner and create, uh, uh, find a, a real application and put a real burner on, on an existing board. Something that your technicians verified the other day when I got to speak to them was that uh, most of the time that they get called to a job to work on a, on a boiler problem, uh, they end up working on the burner. And that is because uh, we generically throw around the term burner, but it is in fact a fired heat exchanger. And most of the trouble lies from day to day, week to week on the burner side with all of these, all this wiring, all these you know bells and whistles and such can go can get sideways. It's also, so from a technical standpoint, yeah, this is where they're working. Um, you have enough problems with the, with the fire part of a fire heat exchanger. And if you don't recognize that for what it's worth, you begin to think, I really want to get a new boiler. Mm -hmm. Whereas really what needs to be done is probably the existing burner uh, needs to be removed and it needs to be replaced with, with, a, a, nice, with a nice new burner, specifically a high performance burner like uh, Riello. And that does a couple of things for us. It's going to eliminate that that, that frustrating uh, failure cycle um, over time that that existing burner is, is suffering from. The payback potential is, is very significant in that most of the inefficiencies of an existing fire and heat exchanger reside in the combustion side, not in the heat exchange side. It isn't the physics of the heat exchange that's cheating them and, and causing them to spend too much money on utility. It's actually the, the poor chemistry or combustion that's occurring into that heat exchanger. And so it isn't unusual for people to discover that they can get two thirds to three quarters of the efficiency gains that they would be picking up by bringing in a new complete fire heat exchanger by just replacing the burner. And they're only gonna spend two thirds to a quarter of the, of the money to get there from here. Yeah. So someday when they do have a challenge with the heat exchanger or they discover that 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 it is maybe it's a non-condensing heat exchanger and the condensing can further serve them, we, we can come back and put a condensing heat exchanger on the other side of this up, of this upgraded higher performance burn. Awesome. Patrick, I'm really impressed. Lots of flexibility. What's the, what would you say the number one thing for the uh, for boiler technicians working on Riello burners? What What's the number one thing that they probably like? Well, once the, once the technician gets gets past the fact that they're not working on a, on maybe a more something that's more common to us, a, a domestic manufactured burner, that, that that all tend to do something, all tend to do things relatively similarly with slight differences. Um, they get in front of a Riello, and it is a little different. But if they give it a chance, they're going to find that it's different, good. And for example, um, we're not going to do it right now. But this what this burner does for service is it will pull back and give the technician full access to the to the consumables, the igniter, the flame rod, give them access to, to be able to service those components and set them without having to take a, get in through the boiler or take the burner. It, it could be a real exercise yeah, very cool. for, for other for other manufacturers. So this burner will, will slide back. Slides back on rails. Slides back on rails. Access everything. Access everything you need, work on it, get it all put back, you know, uh, 4.0, put it back together and, and you fire it. Um, they're also going to find that relative to other products, they're not into this one as much. And it's, and it's rather bold to say, but um, I, I've had people that, that deal with this stuff every day and I say, oh, Riello, you walk by each season, you blow it a kiss. It just is a real, it just it just does what it does and keeps on doing it. Yeah, that's great. It is. I'm, I'm impressed, Patrick. Thanks for uh, coming and showing us this. And uh, we're really excited to promote it. And, uh, and get some things out there. So if you need more uh, information or like to know more about Real Burners, please reach out to us. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, come back and check us out on the Canada Pros.